So here's this new thing I want to try. I call it Mike's story. It's like my story, but like since my name is Michael, I could just use the word Mike, so so it works out. And whatever. Uh, this is going to be a new series where I talk about uh, cool, rad, tubular, cool. I already use that stories uh, that I just want to share with you guys. Uh, lately, I've been feeling a little disconnected with my audience, so I just thought that this would be the best way to to do so. It's like to connect with you guys and also to get you to know a little bit about me. So uh, here we go. Mike's story, number one, eighth grade science teacher. Hmm. For those who don't know, I am 15 years of age and in the this grade. Uh, anywho, eighth grade was one of the best years I've had so far. The only exception being my science teacher, Mrs. Peace. No, that's not her name, by the way. It's, it's, it's not, it's not Peace. It's something else. Rhymes with Greece. Anyway, throughout my 8th grade year, I came to the stunning conclusion that Mrs. Peace didn't like me. So, so like, I'd be in the middle of class, and I'd just think of a joke, and, like, it's just in my head. And then I'd just start giggling. And then she'd just flip out on me. It was crazy. It was flipping crazy. So another time, I was just doing my stuff, and then all of a sudden, this kid in the class just drops an F-bomb. And without hesitation, Mrs. Peace was just like, Michael, I know that was you. Come and sign your detention slip. And I was just sitting there, just thinking in my head, really? Come on. I didn't do that. Sheesh. I had to get like five people to tell her that it wasn't me. I didn't get that detention, though. Let's just say justice was served. So there was this one incident when I was getting ready to go to my English class, and I had to go to my locker and get some things. And then, as I'm putting in my code for my locker, my locker combination, uh, the late bell rings, and my friend Eli was right beside me at the time, and so we just kind of just like try to book it to the, to the next class. But then all of a sudden, Mrs. Peace is just like, stop, stop, what are you guys doing in the halls? You get to class, and she, that's what she said. And my response was, was the pinnacle point of the situation. I'm like, are, are you ready for this? Are, are you ready? I don't think you guys are ready for, for, the, for my, my response. All right. I said, in return, okay. Now, she was already turned around, and she was about to go right back to her, uh, to her class. But at the sheer sound of my voice, she snapped. I mean, she turned into a demon. Okay. Okay. You have some nerve talking back to a teacher. I'm sick and tired. I was a classic. Don't the time. After she was done rambling for a while, uh, me and Eli finally got to go to class, and we just kind of like laughed all the way down. But then at the end of the day, she uh, she gives me a detention. I'm sorry, but this has gone too far. I'm just sitting there, just amazed on how dumb this woman is. Like I only I only said okay. Like I don't understand like wh what what was wrong. I don't I don't understand that. Anywho, I had to go to the principal's office the next day, and to sum up our conversation, no joke, it was basically, yes, you're crazy. And I don't know why you should get punished. But I still went to that detention. We both kind of just gave each other like the Luigi death stare the entire time. And yeah. So skip forward to the end of the school year. Uh, as everyone's leaving, oh yeah, I had this woman for homeroom, by the way. So I had to see her every day, and we kind of just like hated it the entire time. Okay. Um, back back to what I was doing. Alright, skip forward to the end of the school year. As everyone's leaving, she's saying goodbye, she's giving them hugs. She's saying, oh my god, I'm gonna miss you guys. You guys are gonna be such good freshmen. Oh my god. And then it comes to me. And she totally neglects me. And like, seriously, this is exactly what happened. It was like, <clears throat> Goodbye, John. Goodbye, Sarah. Good Goodbye, Moon. I mean, she, she totally neglects me. Well, joke's on her. I didn't sign the card that our homeroom gave to her. So, yeah. Take that. So, yeah, this is the first Mike story. Uh, like and share this video if you want to see more of these. Also, I uh, have a Twitter if you want to like see what, see what I do with my spare time. So, check that out. And uh, subscribe while you're at it if you want to see some more quality quotations, entertainment. So yeah, bye. Bye.